Okay, so let's take a look here at question two, and let's look at what the problem is asking, where we're looking to find a quadratic equation given the following roots. So this is actually the opposite of what we did in question one. Um, instead of having to find the roots, we're given the roots, and then we need to find the expression, the quadratic form that, that provided those roots. Okay, so let's simply look at what this is. So if they say the roots are one and negative two, what that means is the solution for x, or the unknown, is x is equal to one, okay, and x is equal to negative two. Okay, so this is an equation where we can actually rearrange this and work out what the factors are. So the way you do wanna approach this question is you say, okay, if x is equal to negative one, that means x minus one is equal to zero, and this means x plus two is equal to zero. So right away, we now have the two factors here that when we multiply them together, will give us the original quadratic expression. So the, the expression is simply going to be x minus one times x plus two is equal to zero. And then we would expand the terms to be x squared plus two x minus x minus two is equal to zero. And then simply gather like terms. So I'm just gonna push this over to the side here. We're gonna have x squared plus x minus two is equal to zero. So the two roots that are given, one and minus two, are solutions to this original question. Okay, so that's the steps in which you would try to take that problem apart. Um, so that's A. Question B is the same as question A. You can go through the steps and, and the procedures for that because they give you the roots as zero and five. The one that's a little bit different here is question C. So let's just take a look at what that means here. So if the two roots are negative one half and three quarters, we're gonna say X is equal to negative one half and then X is equal to three quarters. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, we apply the same rule that we did before. Um, we can say that, um, we can say that x, we want to bring uh, the negative one half over to one side. So we can write this as x plus one half is equal to zero. Okay. And then the same thing with this is x minus three quarters is equal to zero. Okay. Now to do this question, the, the fractions make it a little bit, um, um, clumsy in order to multiply that expression out. So we can use the same trick we did in the other questions where we multiply by the lowest common multiple for that expression. So to clear the two, we just multiply by two for every term in the expression. And to clear the four, we're gonna multiply by a four. So this is going to give us two x plus one is equal to zero. And this is going to give us 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, and then those are the two terms. So what you would have to do is just write this down as a product of the two binomials and then expand that out and collect like terms and get that into quadratic form. Okay, so that's how you'd approach those three questions.